Hey guys, welcome back to the end of season roundup for the Sheffield Wednesday career mode save. So end of season five finished with us lifting the Champions League trophy on penalties. If you didn't see that in the previous episode, go back and give it a watch because it was a pretty good game. Um, we actually played it out on camera and really enjoyed it. So to recap, Sheffield Wednesday win back-to-back -back Premier League trophies for the first time. Five points clear of Spurs who came out of nowhere over the last few games. United finished 8th, Arsenal down in 9th, Newcastle 14th, and going down are West Ham, Aston Villa and Burnley. Liverpool won the Charity Shield against us in the early season. Um, we seen that game, it wasn't a game that we were too worried about. Chelsea went on to win the FA Cup, beating Spurs 2-1. If we scroll back, we can see where we got knocked out. And we actually lost to Man United on penalties in round 5. Disappointing, but the priority was the Champions League this year. In the Carabao Cup, Arsenal lift that with a 3-2 win over Wolves. And we went out of this one quite early, I seem to remember. Yeah, round four to Arsenal. Arsenal seemed to like knocking us out of the cup. Um, in the friendly tournament, we didn't get to the final. We got lost out to Roma on penalties, who eventually won it. The Super Cup sees Paris Saint-Germain losing out to Man City. It's a game we would be playing next season. Of course, you saw that we won the Champions League 2-1 on penalties. It was a tough game. Playing on Legendary, it was really tough for me, but we got there in the end. Real Madrid beat Salzburg to the Europa League title. And Real Betis win on penalties against Fenerbahce in the Conference League. Everton absolutely smashed the championship. 110 points from 46 games is mad. West Brom picked up 94 points. Where did Coventry finish? 18th. Not a good place for us, but we're above relegation. Rotherham, Ipswich and Bolton going down. Reading and Sunderland were separated only by goal difference in, the champ in League One as they both returned to the Championship. As we scroll down, there's nothing. Forest Green ma managed to stay up. Great sign for them. Cambridge, Wickham, Wimbledon and Mansfield all drop into League Two. Into League Two... Scunthorpe United win the league. Since they got relegated in real life, that is quite a shock. But they were brilliant this year. 82 points. Whereas Swindon, how did they go on 10th? Not bad from Swindon with Stevenage and Harrogate well off the pace. Both sides would have got relegated in real life, of course. PSG won the French title. Three points over Monaco in the end. Stade Rene finished third. Marseille only fifth. I expected them to do better. Into the Bundesliga, Leipzig win the title there with Bayern in fourth and Dortmund in fifth. They're very far off the pace. Leverkusen in second. Juventus absolutely dominated Italy this year. Although Milan, if they hadn't have drawn that many games, they would have been a lot closer, wouldn't they? They've lost the same amount of games as the title winners. PSV managed to pick up the Dutch title. Again, big gap there. It's like nine points over Ajax. Celtic and Rangers split by goal difference. I mean, it was 10 goals, to be fair, but that is a pretty close run thing there. Finally, into Spain, Real Madrid, 14 points over City rivals Atletico. Barca, well off down in third. Really, really disappointing season that for Barca, isn't it? De Ketelare won the Golden Boot in the Premier League by one goal over Lopez for Southampton. John Jules got 15 goals for us this season in the Premier League from only 28 games. As we look into our assists, Neumann got seven this year. He's our only representative. Whilst we look at our keeper, Messier got 10 clean sheets in 38 games. Onana got 13 in 38. That's an incredible return for him and Spurs. So let's have a quick look at the squad. Meslier plus one he's played brilliantly this year absolutely outstanding player he's just had a great season and I'm really pleased that we managed to add him in Kavanagh plus four he's a young goalie coming through eight Nori plus two he's been superb for us as well Tavares out on loan no improvement neither for Cardozo Santos plus one up to 79 he's out on loan at Milan Samuel Walker, one of our youth products, is plus two. Ronnie Kirk, plus four, out on loan at Stade Rene. Avicii, plus one. Amaral's uh, no improvement at PSJ. Felipe Herrera, plus three. We've kept him in and around the squad this year. He's played a few games, mostly a sub, but he's been very good. Galliano's been with us for a long time now, and he's played more of a bit part role this season. 
Fabry, outstanding. Plus one, he's up to 86 rated now. He's such a key part of the team. Alongside Bubakar Kamara, he's plus one up to 87. On the right, Rodriguez, he's our backup right wing back. He's plus one. Tariq Lamptey, plus one up to 85. It was a shame he missed the Champions League final, really. Tavernier's out, but minus four now. Castro, plus two out on loan at Liverpool. We'll come back in a better place. Prata, the captain, won the penalty, uh, scored the penalty that won us the Champions League, plus one up to 84. Sumare, plus two up to 86. Very pleased with his performance. Weston McKenney didn't play that much. I signed him. I thought he'd be a first-team player, but we just replaced him with quality. One of those being Jacob Ramsey. Plus one up to 83. He's been a really good player for us this year. Kalitso out on loan. Koloski out on loan, plus four. Saavedra, who's the NES, the regen, only plus one out on loan. Jay Pye, he's been a superstar for us. Plus three up to 89 rated now. Dylan Binion, plus eight this year out on loan at Sampdoria. Venice, he was another youth product, plus three. Van Damme, plus one up to 88. Scott, plus three up to 86. Bosniak, up plus three up to 80. He's the Tadic regen. Herve Barrera, 76 rated. He's very young, 17-year-old, but he's a bit far off the team. Di Maria's regen, plus two. Connor Dunn, plus five. He's up to 80 rated. He's been out on loan in Holland. Carazzo, plus one, up to 76. Probably going to have to look to sell him. CR7 regens, plus two out on loan at Juventus. Rosek, plus one. Neumann, plus three. 29 goals this season. Moreau's plus four. He's up to 88 with 19 goals this year. And Torres John Jules, plus four up to 87 with 18 league goals this year. So there you have it. Top goal scorer overall is Neumann. 15 goals in the Champions League, 11 in the Premier League. It's mad to think he scored that many goals in the Champions League, including the one in the final. It's been... A absolute mad season, to be honest. I didn't think we'd win the league again. I didn't think we'd win the Champions League straight away. And I didn't think we'd win it, me playing on Legendary against a good team like Atletico. But there we have it. That's our end of season review. Guys, thank you so much for your support during this season. I hope you've really enjoyed these videos. I've really enjoyed making them. And we'll be back for a new challenge with a different club in the near future. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.